fifth grade lesson 83 and this is on properties of geometric solids okay so so far you've learned about things like triangle rectangle circle and so forth right yeah. those are just flat objects okay okay um, what you're gonna be learning about today is an object that makes up space for example if you were to look at this right here, you would say the top of it is a, what shape? Circle. Circle, okay? But when an object takes up space, you see how this has space in it? It becomes a geometric solid, okay? So for example, that's a circle, but as a geometric shape, it looks like this, right? Yeah. You see that? See how this is a circle on top and a circle on the bottom? Yeah. Okay. This um, is called a cylinder. Did you know that? Yes. So tell me something that you see every day that could be a cylinder. A cup. A cup? Okay. Right. Sort of. Depends. Or... A Coke can? Yeah. Is a good cylinder. Uh, a straw is a cylinder. See how that does? Okay, so do you see how a circle is just something flat, but a cylinder makes up space. It has something in it. You get it? Okay, so they are called geometric solids. Cylinders are. Yeah. Okay, so basically it's a 3D object. This one is just 2D. You can see a length and a width, but we don't know how tall it is. So this has length width and height see that okay so it makes up space now let's review some of these geometric solids all right the first one the plane not an airplane but in math this would be called a square right yeah but as a geometric solid it would look like this You see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, and that would be called a cube. Got it? Okay, think of something that makes up a cube in everyday world. Um, uh, the Rubik's Cube, the thing you yeah. turn, that's the Rubik's Cube. Any kind of box that's shaped like that. Okay, let's try something else. This is a rectangle, right? Yeah. Okay. But now, whoops, okay, that is a rectangular solid, okay, rectangle, rectangular solid, okay, an example of this would be like a box you get in the mail or a cereal box, okay, so that would be a rectangular and you might want to write these down if you don't know the names of them already. Rectangular solid. Okay. If you know them, it's fine. I do. But if you don't know them, then you need to make sure you do. Okay? This triangle. This. This one's going to be a little bit tough for me to draw. Tougher. Oh, it's a pyramid. Yeah. Yeah, let's try that again. I got it. I'm going to get it. Okay, you see that? Yeah. Okay, that is a pyramid. Okay. All right, this is a circle. This is a cylinder. Do they have um, a cone? Yes, cone that's cone coming up. It. Yep, it's coming up. You see that? Mm -hmm. Cylinder? Do you know that name? Yeah. Okay. Let's do two more. This is a circle. And this, and I'm going to pretend like it's going, I don't know if you can tell. It's like a basketball. It's not just a circle flat. Yeah. It actually makes up space like a basketball. Okay. This will be called a spear. Do you know that one? that one? Okay. And last one. Again. 
again be something like this triangle thing. And this would be a cone. This part would be. What's the rectangular thing? Rectangular solid. Okay, so this would be called a cone. Okay, so it does have a circular bottom, but then it goes up and it makes up space, just like a cone you see out on a basketball court or anywhere, or even out um, on construction areas. Okay, now let's talk about something else real quick that we're still working on this. Okay, so I'm going to draw this cube, and I want you to do the same. We're going to draw a cube. Okay. Okay, now that's just a square right now, so I'm going to go in and do this, draw another cube to the left of it. Okay. And then you're going to connect the top left to the top left of the second one. Okay. Same thing on all of these. Okay. And that shows us a cube. Now I want to talk about this cube for a minute. I'm going to go in and make these lines dotted so we can tell that they're on the inside. Okay. Okay. Now, what I want to talk to you about is three different pictures. Okay. And the first one I want you to see is this. You see this? That would be what I would consider the front. Okay. Okay. We're gonna. This is called the face of the solid that we're working with. Okay. So this would be the face. Okay, guess what else? This is going to be the face as well. That so, one looks bigger. Yeah, it's just the way you draw it, how the perspective changes as you're drawing it. Okay. But if you were able to actually look at it, this would be the face. This would be the face. Do you see this back one? Yeah. Would be the face. This side one would be the face. This bottom one would be the face. And this top one would be the face. So how many... Okay, as I was saying... How many faces does this have, okay? So this front face is one, the back face is two, the side face, three, side face again, four, bottom, five, top, six. So we have six faces on this um, cube, okay? Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is something called an edge, and it's exactly what you would think it would be. Um, if I'm holding a cube in my hands and I'm looking at a face, the edge, okay, as I was saying that the edges of a figure is just like if you were looking at a cube and something was about to fall off, off the edge, okay, this would be an edge, this would be an edge, this would be an edge, 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 basically every line that goes around the face. Edge, 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 and edge. So if we were to count all of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There are twelve edges. Okay, so there are twelve edges on this figure. Okay, the last thing I want to teach you are called vertex, and the ver plural form of that is vertices. Okay, and what a vertices is, or what a vertex is, is where the two edges meet together. So that would be one vertex, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so there are eight vertices in this cube, on this cube. Okay, and so that is lesson 83.